Hello everyone, I'm Sajjad. For this review, I'm gonna give you guys a review of Sony DPTRP1. This is the second generation of e-ink PDF reader of Sony. It has 13.3 inches screen. This model has higher resolution and better contrast than the previous model. For the first generation, you didn't need battery for your pen. For this device, you have to charge your stylus using a micro USB cable. Unfortunately, you cannot charge the device or the stylus independently. You have to have a laptop to charge them. The device has quad-core processor, about 2.4 GHz and has 16 GB internal memory. It has a very thin and modern design. It is very light tablet, it just has 12 ounces. At the top corner of it, you have two magnetic slots for putting the stylus here for right hander people and for left hander people. At the top, you have micro USB port, power button, and the reset button. The good thing that I like from this device is that it doesn't have backlight display. The only reason I use e-ink reader is to avoid annoying light while I'm reading. So if it has a backlight screen, I prefer to use my iPad. So it doesn't have backlight display. That means you need another source of light in order to be able to see the text on the device. It means in the night you have to turn on the light for using this device. Like while you're reading a real book. Actually, this is the main purpose of making such a device. Having a PDF reading experience like reading a real book. The home button is here underneath the front edge of the device. I personally like it. It has a simple design and most importantly because it is on the top you won't push it accidentally while you're reading or writing especially when you resting your hand on the screen for writing let's take a look at the stylus at the very end of it you have charging slot here you have charging indicator the stylus has two buttons the lower button is eraser, the upper button is marker or highlighter. You only can use it in PDF mode. Unfortunately, it doesn't work when you are in note-taking mode, so you can highlight your handwritings. Here is the stylus tip. You can change it with another tip. There is two different kind of tips. This one is the black and is softer and smoother. Writing with it is like writing with a pen. And the other one which was on the stylus by default is gray and feels like writing by pencil. I try to remove and change it back to gray tip but it, it is not easy as Removing that gray tip, as you, as you can see, it slips. And honestly, I cannot remove it right now. A very important point is you should calibrate the stylus before using it. Make sure you do doing it correctly. If your writing is not in a way that you expected, you may need to recalibrate the stylus. The stylus is a little heavier than I expected and the tip wears off almost fast. You have to change it when it becomes 1.5 mm short, shorter. Except this one, you have three more tips in your box but after finishing all, you have to buy 10 replacement tips for 20 bucks from Amazon. That means each one costs you two dollars. You even unable to use all of it because you have to change you have to change it when it becomes 1.5 millimeter shorter. So each 1.5 millimeter costs you two dollars. 
put it next to the fact that it wears off almost fast. Therefore, writing by it would be super expensive, especially if you be a serious writer. Okay, let's take a look at <coughs> the device. If I push the home button, you will see a menu here, which you can go to the setting and set your wireless, Bluetooth, and your other options that you have on your setting, create a new notes, viewing all your notes, viewing your folders, your all documents, and the last document that you while you were reading. Here is your wireless connectivity status. Unfortunately, this device doesn't have internet access or web browser. The device has Wi-Fi and NFC Bluetooth, but you just can connect to your computer and transferring PDFs from your computer into uh, the device or your documents from the device into the computer by using a desktop application. Let's see how PDF reading mode works. If you look at the screen, you can see the text and picture are shown very clear and sharp. This device only support PDF in its original size. So, <coughs> for example, for this PDF, you can annotate at the very edge of the right side and left side on the screen. But because this document has um, top margin and bottom margin, you cannot annotate at the very edge of the top and bottom of the screen. <coughs> As I explained, you can use the stylus for highlighting the text. If I let me first delete my annotation. So if you push the upper button, <coughs> you can highlight your text. As you can see, there is about 16 different level of darkness for highlighting but I think after 5 or level 5 or level 6 it will be hard to see the text you can easily delete your highlighting by pushing the lower button on the stylus you can annotate on your PDF or draw lines be below your text from my experience it has a delay especially when you start drawing or writing it also has a delay when you want to highlight so you may miss the first letter of the sentence you um, that you want to be highlighted it also may happen if you want to draw a line below your text lines uh, but overall it is not a big deal in pdf mode you don't have pin zoom and the only thing that you can zoom is using this icon here and you can zoom by either selecting the, the area that you want to be zoomed <coughs> or tapping on the area that you want to be zoomed 
but it is not convenient to do it every for every page. <coughs> if you push the this three dots button here, uh, you will have some features for PDF reading modes. The first one shows a preview of 16 pages. And you can have this feature by pinching your fingers and again you you have 16 pages preview. For the second feature, if you push it, uh, it is annotation list. You will have all your handwritings and all your highlights of that you, you have done on this document. So for example, I can go and see my annotation and highlights here. <coughs> The third option that you have is display document side by side. If you push it, <coughs> you will have two different windows and the same document. The cool feature is that you can turn in the page independently. So. Right now, I am turning the document that is on my on the side of right side of my screen. But uh, they are different in the sense that you can turn in page independently. But if you doing highlight. Or annotation these will save on the same document you can also Create a new side note by selecting Create a new side note for this document When you select it You will be asked to select a template For your notes Sony just has limited templates But you can add more templates as you wish For next video I will explain you how to add new templates easily But for now I just select the first template for note. <coughs> you also okay. Right now I can easily write On the note taking document, while I'm reading the book, <coughs> you can also select an area of your handwriting and copy it into the clipboard and then paste it in your PDF. But unfortunately, you cannot do it and selecting an area of your PDF and copy it in your notes. So let me show you. If I select this one, I can copy it to the clipboard and then 
paste it here and save it but I cannot change its size in my opinion but as I, as, as I said I cannot select the area here and copy it into the my notes I think that it would be more applicable if I be able to copy a chart or a table from my PDF to my notes so I hope Sony add this feature to its next software update this device doesn't have pressure lever for writing so it won't be a good uh, option or, or a good device for people who want to drawing or painting you just have one pen thickness at, at a time when you want to write and pushing the pen uh, pushing the pen won't change the thickness of your lines but you can change your line uh, your line thickness by going to this icon and select your pen thickness you can e you can you also can change your eraser size or your pen color you have two options having a blue or red but you cannot see it on this device you just can't see it on your computer or when you want to print your document overall this device has two major drawbacks the first one is the stylus which is disappointing because writing by it is super expensive and it is also uh, not accurate especially when the tips wears off a little the second drawback is the software which needs to be upgraded it doesn't have many basic features so overall this device is not an economic device to leaving aside the paper and write directly on it for next video I will show you how you want how you can put new templates for your notes thanks for watching bye